Joe Klinder from uh, Vivian Township in Wasika County in southern Minnesota. Um, third generation family farmer on a small um, diversified farm. Corn, soybeans, and hogs is what we raised. Um, when I grew up, my father actually had chickens and cattle and milk cows. Uh, that's what I grew up doing. Uh, I left the farm. I'm a middle child, three sons. Uh, my older brother and younger brother were less interested. I was always more active with my father on the farm. I left for seven years after high school, in which time I was in the uh, the Army for two years and um, four or five years of college and then returned to the family farm because that's, you know, as I was, what am I going to do with life? That's what I wanted to do. It was a fun thing to do. I enjoyed farming. So that's, uh, I went back, um, asked my parents if I could have the opportunity and they were, they gave me the opportunity to farm. They sold me some land on a contract for deed. And, uh, and my dad was nearing retirement age, so um, it was convenient for them. They had an exit strategy at that time. I gradually bought the farm machinery from them on a contract for deed. Raised my children there, and uh, it was a great life. Um, and, uh, and then exited it as well, uh, which is, makes a little bit unique situation that I've been through with the whole chain of events. I was the last generation of our family to farm the land. What I enjoyed about farming was, of course, the independence, but I enjoyed the annual challenge of putting a plan together and seeing if it actually worked. The, the closure to uh, an endeavor every year, where, uh, you know, in, in the business world, it just goes on and on, and it kind of turns, it has its cycles up and down, but every year was a unique challenge. I'm a, I, I like planning. I like putting together a plan and see if it actually works, and farming allowed me to do that, so I put a plan together during the winter, um, raised a crop, marketed it, tried to you know create an income. You know, I had I, I could try new things like no-till, uh, different seed varieties. Every year was unique, and it had a closure. At, at the end of the year, you harvested and you sold it, and you prepared for the next year. So I think that was what was really the most exciting part of farming for me, and the constant you know a variety that you could do something different, and and, and you were totally. Uh, independent and allowed to do it on your own. You didn't have to f answer to any committees or anything. Total. That was a good thing. Well, you had to have a certain amount of discipline. Uh, if you just tried too many, you know, things that were, you know, well, that'd be really interesting to try. If you didn't have some consistency to uh, the business principles of the farming itself. Um, you could get yourself into real trouble um, and, and not be able to sustain it. Just, you know, well, that looks like fun. I'll raise um, um, reindeer or I'll sell all my corn and raise rice or, you know, just try unique things. There's a certain amount of that would be fun, but it doesn't sustain the business. Or it's a, the intensity of the business has gotten more and more every year. The margins are tighter and it's, it's a, it takes a lot of dollars and there's a lot at risk every year, so there's a lot to manage. Well, now I'm uh, an independent consultant uh, working with farmers, um, still in, in, in helping them with family dynamics of, of, of farm transition, exit strategies for retiring farmers, um, the organizational structure of farmers that are working together in multi-generation or multi-family members cooperating on a farm and then building some uh, structure to that operation so that they have clear communications and clear defined roles as the, and running it more as a business than just an individual person. I can often have three generations or even four uh, where the grandparents maybe still own some of the property or key assets. The next generation is the, um, the current matriarchs or patriarchs of the family. Uh, the third generation is the you know, labor. They might be 30 or 40 years old but they might have 10 year, 12 year old sons or daughters that are interested in the farm. And we're trying to put that whole thing together to, you know, do some, hold the, the, the core, usually it's the core land is what you're trying to hold together. 
and then the business is the is the dynamic part of it that keeps moving and expanding and, and actually adjusting to the, the cultures of today what 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 actually earns them the money but yeah it, it can support a lot of generations and and rather than everyone has standing on their own values I try and bring it all back to what's the what's the farm need the farm needs everyone commit you know time and get the stuff done but you know there can be an opportunity for each generation to pull their current you know personal values out of there as long as it supports the core value of the farm itself a common mission is what's important